On now to a controversial bill signed into law, the governor putting his signature on the police accountability legislation, which passed the Senate earlier this week. The law imposes significant reforms on policing here in Connecticut. Fox 61's Zinnia Maldonado has more from the state capitol. This police accountability bill was approved by the Senate 21 to 15 early Wednesday morning, and just two days later, Governor Lamont signing the bill into law here at the Capitol. It's going to make a great force even better. Governor Lamont joined by Lieutenant Governor Susan Beiswitz and members of the General Assembly signing House Bill 6004 on Friday. This legislation is not an anti-police measure. Rather, it's a bill about holding those who don't follow the law accountable. The legislation drafted in the wake of nationwide protests against police brutality puts in place implicit bias training for officers, requires cities and towns to provide body and dash cams, prohibits the use of military equipment, bans chokeholds, requires officer bystander intervention, and mandates mental health assessments. Changes state rep and new London police officer Anthony Nolan agrees are needed. And we all know that we have great police officers throughout our communities, um, but there are those that um, are not as great. Um, that are the reason for what we have presented uh, to try and be a lifesaver. And when I say a lifesaver, I am really talking about saving lives. The most controversial aspect of the bill causing several protests around the state, qualified immunity. The bill states any person who feels they were a victim in a police incident may bring a civil action for equitable relief or damages, and qualified immunity will only be applied to officers going forward if it is clear they have acted in good faith during the incident causing the lawsuit. Lawmakers urging residents and officers to understand the 71-page bill is not removing qualified immunity. The officer would be entitled to an attorney. And if they, which would be paid for by the town they're employed by, or or the state police if they're a, or the state if they're a state trooper, um, and the the state or the municipality would actually be on the hook for any judgment that's entered against that officer, unless the jury finds at the end of the day that uh, they that that the officer violated somebody's constitutional rights maliciously, wantonly, or intentionally. And only in those limited instances would the individual officer be liable for damages. Governor Lamont says the bill is meant to give confidence not only to communities, but also police officers that the state has their back and rebuild trust between the two. Every day, we as uh, political folks, police, we have to continue to earn the respect of our community. That's what makes a community policing so powerful. And state officials say they look forward to working with police departments across the state to implement these new measures, some going into effect immediately, while others next year. Reporting outside the state capitol in Hartford, Zania Maldonado, Fox 61 News.